Hey guys, what's going on? Another video for this weekend. Um, here I have the new uh, GameStop mystery box of the Batman and Joker Gamer. Uh, I have, I just picked up the new Electro, and then here I picked up the GameStop 10 inch uh, Spiral the Dragon, which is super cool. So uh, I can't wait to open these up. Uh, so we'll go with this first one here, the Electro, get things started with the small one. So here we have another addition to the Spider-Man villain, um, another Marvel 80 years as well. Uh, so it's a specialty item game, so if you can go to your local uh, comic book store, I'm sure they'll be able to have those. Um, so I just picked up mine. So you can see the back here, there's the first uh, issue of um, the comic book series for him. Can you help me find a way? Where is the God that I need? Can I get some help? All right, so bear in mind, they did have an Electro Pop, but that was for the Amazing Spider-Man 2 version. So that one looked really bad. Um, but this is the classic Marvel villain of Electro. So you can see here, he's got the uh, signature mask there with all lightning bolts on the end. Uh, you can see he's holding electricity or he's like uh, grasping electricity between his hands there, so which is really cool. Uh, the classic green and yellow attire, uh, which is really nice. Uh, and um, yeah, so here's another new villain for Spider-Man. I think now we're missing a few other ones. We're missing, uh, I know, Shocker uh, or Scorpion. Uh, and I think those are the only two that I know of. And a classic Vulture. I don't think we have a classic Vulture. The only one we have is from uh, Far From Home. Or sorry, Homecoming. So if they get those classic ones now. I know Kingpin's on his way, so we'll hopefully get that one next. And um, let's see what other uh, Spire Universe Funko Pops we can get. So, the next one we'll do is the uh, mystery box for Batman. Um, I only opened up the plastic, so I haven't opened up what I got here. So I know if anyone's already seen it already, you get uh, either Batman or Joker with uh, the game controller and the headset. Um, there are two variants. There's, for each, a chase version. And uh, for Batman, I guess there's another variant for where the Pez is glow in the dark and the other one isn't. So be, keep an eye on that one too, because I think people didn't notice that, that there were actually two variants of, or three variants of a Batman. A chase, one with the non-glow dark Pez, and one with the glow in the dark Pez. So uh, I haven't opened this up, so let's see what we got here. All right, so it looks like we have the Batman. Um, but it's not the Chase version, which is okay. So it came with a sticker. So you can see there, that's pretty cool. Uh, looks like we got the glow in the dark keychain pot there for Batman. And uh, oh, okay, so I got the uh, glow in the dark Pez version here, which is really nice. You can see there. And uh, a button. So there's a button for the game. And then the one and only Batman uh, gamer. So you can see here, there's the Batman. So let's open him up. I'm pretty sure uh, this is pretty cool. GameStop is doing their own theme now. So I know we have, uh, let me see, the Mickey Mouse and Mini set. Uh, come Black Friday, they're gonna have Marvel sets. So they're gonna have Groot, Miles Morales, and another one which, uh, top of my head, I cannot remember. Um, but then they all have their own chase variant. So get ready for that. Um, I know a lot of people in uh, my community are looking for the Miles Morales one. So. Uh, hopefully you guys can get that one. But luckily I got Batman. Um, maybe if I go get another box, it might be a Chase Batman or a Joker. I hope it's not another set of this. Otherwise, I'm going to have to trade it for another Joker pop. Um, it seems like there's a lot of, mis uh, not a misprint, but a short print of the Jokers. Or at least in my area uh, and through my Facebook, there's a lot of people that opened up Batmans more than Jokers. And now they're trying to trade for a Joker box. So be on the lookout for that. Maybe it is short printed. Uh, you guys might want to just check that one out. But we're going to we're gonna see this Batman here. So... This one's his cool, uh, unique blue attire. Um, he's got the headset, which is really cool. Imagine him playing the Batcave and his huge TV. Um, the remote looks more like an Xbox controller. So at least in my eyes, it looks like it. Uh, and then, yeah, so that's him. Let's see the turnaround, it's got his cape. And then everything's detailed pretty well. So this is for him. Next, we'll go with the big, the bad, Spiral Dragon. It looks like it's taped on the end here, which is not good for me. Let me get a knife here.
Wow, so this is Spyro the Dragon. He is so cool. He's so big. I didn't think he'd be this big. When I got him, all the co-workers there, uh, the employees at GameStop, they were like, yeah, they didn't realize how big he is when you consider it a 10-inch. So I'm going to give you a scale. So here is the regular one, and you could see here the size difference. Uh, it's so huge. Uh, they look like they use the same mold for the original one. So uh, we'll just take a look at here. So you can see here, he's got the cool look to him, the eyebrow up here. Um, they got it detailed on the back here with all the scales. The wings are pretty cool and perched. Uh, you can see some battle scars on his chest, which is really nice here. And then, yeah, so this is a pretty awesome Spyro the Dragon 10 inch pot figure. So that was him. So yeah, so these are uh, the small little video here for my unboxing of GameStop pretty much. Um, hope you guys like that and um, next week we'll get some more Funko Pops in and we'll uh, keep unboxing so I'll see you guys later.